One of my favorite activities is my stretching and strengthening classes at the Y on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. There are about 40 of us, men and women. We go there, exercise, and encourage each other, and sometimes we goad each other. <laughs> For instance, if I ever show up late, I will hear this little male voice from the front row saying, Good afternoon, Louise. <laughs> I was so proud of our granddaughter who came to visit the class one day. And at the instructor's command, she jumped down and started doing these beautiful push-ups. The rest of us were kind of organizing our bodies. And I heard this little voice from the side say, Way to show us up, Molly. <laughs> The other day we had a sub in our class. And after class I went up and said hi, thank you, and all of that. And she looked me in the eye and she said, you are strong. <laughs> and I thought, I sort of contemplated that for a while. And I started thinking about my family. I have quite a few strong people in my family. <laughs> My dad, as an example, built two homes for us with his own hands while we were growing up. He thought it was fun, when he was a young man, <clears throat> to stand on his head on a chair atop his mule. <laughs> he also really enjoyed taking his horse, Charlie, to Jim Canna's, where they did calf roping, pole dogging, just calf roping. At the end of one of these events, my dad's journal entry was, Charlie had fun today. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, my great-grandmother, actually it was my mother, my, excuse me, my maternal grandmother gave birth to 12 healthy children. So that must have taken quite a bit of strength. <laughs> my mother was 10. My mother liked to ice skate and dance. My mother taught me the fives in tap dancing. Oh, let me see if I can remember. I think it goes something like this. Oh, I better take off my shoes. Okay, something like this. playground and putting your hands in those loops and walking across like this, holding your body up. That's her uh, idea of cross -barry. so she was strong. <laughs> she participated in cross country, track, was a volleyball player, a soccer, a soccer player, and a few years ago she trained with Carmichael, Carmichael training. This guy was Lance, one of Lance Armstrong's coaches. And she completed a 250 kilometer bicycle ride across the Andes in South America. Mm. Our son was the triple jumper on his track and field team in high school, he played basketball, soccer, and volleyball in college. Last month, he ran his second marathon <laughs> in Pennsylvania, where he lives. <coughs> with his wife and his younger daughter cheering him on. True to his personality, he is a statistician. <laughs> he went home and looked up his father's stats
from having done the Pikes Peak Marathon 40 years ago, <laughs> and they had a little conversation. It sounded pretty friendly. <laughs> Other uh, people in my family, my, my husband used to run during noon hour. He worked downtown, so he and his buddies would run. And I can remember sitting and watching him and three of his buddies do the bed race, the downtown Colorado Springs bed race. That was a lot of fun. My sister, my youngest sister, who has four grown children, is now into weight and endurance training. And she just completed her first half marathon in Leavenworth, Leavenworth Washington, coming in ahead of her three training buddies, even though she had to stop along the way and smell the roses. That's my sister. She took pictures of the trees and <laughs> the sent them to me. That's all part of the experience. As a family, when our children were growing up, we did quite a few uh, fun activities together. We liked to mountain climb, we liked to run races, we did many of the 5Ks and 10Ks around town, and um, we, we also traveled on a shoestring. <laughs> that was a big adventure. Skiing was something I never did excel at. I sat down and cried on many a <laughs> mogul slope while my, child, my family was having fun, and I finally took up cross country to end. I have a niece who was just elected as president of her NOW chapter, National Organization for Women. So I sent her a little check to her organization. And in her response to me, she said, Dear Aunt Louise, I am so happy to be part of a family with such strong women. <laughs> and I'd like to add, I'm extremely grateful to be from a family of strong men and women. Okay. <laughs>